Seven GOP candidates will participate in a second debate tonight. It takes place at the Reagan Presidential Library. KTLA 5's Eric Spillman live in Simi Valley. Eric, good morning to you. Good morning. They're having a GOP debate here at the Reagan Library that begins at 6 o'clock tonight. And to talk about it more, let's uh, introduce Melissa Giller with the Ronald Reagan Presidential Foundation. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. You've had presidential debates here before. Yeah, this is our fifth. We held two in the 2008 cycle, one in 2012, one in 2016, and this will be our fifth. All right, let's talk about who's coming here tonight. There will be seven GOP candidates up there on the stage, and they're the same candidates, let's put their pictures up there, the same candidates who took part in the debate in Milwaukee last month, with the exception of Asa Hutchinson, who didn't have the polling numbers and the donations to qualify. One person who will not be here is former President Donald Trump. He's electing to go to Michigan to take part in an event there. Have you ever had a debate like this where the front runner didn't show up? Uh, no, in fact, all of our other primary debates, we had 12, 13, 14, 15 candidates on the stage. So only seven candidates for us is actually small. But, you know, we get it. He is so far ahead in the polls. Um, we get why he's not here. But in addition to having 3% of the polls, you have to agree to sign a pledge that you would support the nominee if you don't become the nominee. I don't believe he signed that. And to qualify, you actually have to sign that pledge. But the other candidates participating tonight, they did sign that pledge. Yeah, that's correct, as did Asa Hutchinson. But as you said, he didn't get the 3%. What did Ronald Reagan say about, you know, debate? Did he want to promote candidates talking about the issues? Yeah, so the Reagan Library opened in 1991, and at the opening remarks, in the opening remarks, he actually said that he hoped his library wouldn't just be a place where policymakers, or where scholars interpreted the past. He actually wanted it to be a place where policymakers debated the future. So what better way to make his vision come true than to hold presidential debates? There is a discussion in the Republican Party now with some of the candidates sort of running away from some of the positions that Ronald Reagan stood for. In fact, Vice President, former Vice President Mike Pence says that candidates, some of the other candidates, not him, but he says some of the others are moving away from Ronald Reagan's vision of conservatism. What do you think about that? What do you think he would have thought, Ronald Reagan would have thought, about the current Republican race? Right. Well, you know, Ronald Reagan believed in free thought, so, um, you know, he would things change, but his timeless principles of individual liberty and economic opportunity, freedom and democracy, those still hold true. Those are conservative values that held true then, they held true now. But the world has changed, times have changed, policies have to change to reflect that. Um, so we don't know how he would feel today and what he would do today, but I do think he'd still stand by those principles. Final question, we want to show the pictures of where the debate stage is because it's a pretty dramatic location located uh, right next to or underneath the plane that was used as Air Force One when Ronald Reagan was president. I mean, what a breathtaking spot. It is such an amazing location to hold a presidential debate. We are literally underneath the wings of Air Force One that flew seven presidents of the United States, including Ronald Reagan. Um, and it's just this beautiful setting and a great place for these seven candidates to debate the future of our country. All right, Melissa Giller, thank you so much for talking to us. The debate begins tonight at 6 p.m. It's a two hour long debate and you can watch it on Fox News Channel and Fox Business. We'll send it back to you.